Hello, welcome back to the channel, and today, as you wonder why I'm dressed up, dressed up, this today is a quadruple double header of four games today, starting off with the first game being the Heat versus the Nuggets, of course in the NBA bubble in Orlando, Florida at the ESPN Worldwide of Sports with three arenas covering 22 teams of an eight game regular season regular season schedule to add on to the season coming in um which came in with like the Bucks at I think 56 with 56 wins um, there, but they got their win last night against the Celtics. That was a great game all around, pretty much. Um, but before we get into that game, let's talk about what I did on my blog. I am a blogger, so um, check that out. I'll leave it in the um, link below. But anyways... Um, through this game uh right now it's heats first nuggets but i'll get into that in just a second starting lineups are just being announced here as we all are watching um which uh tune in because there is great basketball coming up later on this afternoon so coming back to Thursday with opening opening night this week, oh, I mean last week, um, Thursday night was Utah Jazz versus the New Orleans Pelicans. The Pelicans were led by their um, small forward in Brandon Ingram. The star to this game for the New Orleans Pelicans led the game in scoring with 22 points. Um, proof proved himself through through the first game and I feel like um, the Pelicans have a lot to work on. They um, end up having a pretty big game today, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, but that was a big game and I feel like Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert led the Jazz to a uplifting win at the end of the second half so it brought a little bit more of a um, urgency here um coming into opening night of the nba restart in the nba bubble with new um coronavirus cautions and um different things going on with racial injustice around the united states and i'm not going to get into that because nothing really needs to be said there at this day and age for anyone really no one really cares that much and um, certainly it is a rough time for some for so many people um but enough about that jibber jabber um coming into that game I feel like uh, jazz came into it played great played great first half with Jordan Clarkson leading in threes they had a dy dynamic defensive attack, which slowed down Zion Williamson, Brandon Ingram, and so forth and so on. But my point of view is, like, crazy how people can just, like, go into a game with a focused mindset and have the perfect, perfect adjustments made for, like, let's say... Utah and New Orleans both had a balanced attack on offense. It was a close game, and I'm not going to lie. Um, both games were pretty close between the Lakers and the Clippers. The next game, which was led by Anthony Davis with 34 points for the L.A. Lakers and Paul George with 30 points for the Clippers. Kawhi slowed down a little bit in the second half. Um, Doc Rivers is a great coach and um he showed he showed what he can do but i feel like the lakers in the west right now 
are one of the best teams, so it's going to be a tough race coming into the West. And moving on to um, the big games yesterday in the second day of the NBA restart. First game of the doubleheader yesterday, um, Jalen Brown led in points. Um, I think he scored 18 or 16 in that game. Um, he led he led the way um, early in the second half. Then Kimball Walker came out, and he played pretty great. He only got 20 minutes, as Brad Stevens said, at halftime when he had 13 minutes in the first half, including um, – seven in the second half second quarter and six in the first half so he had 13 minutes and played 20 minutes overall with seven in the split between split between the third and the fourth quarter so i feel like kimball walker is a big big part of this boston team right now and i and i see that out of out of out of um boston right now that they have um some dynamic weapons and they can be able to um, give something really, really big. Daniel Thias, Thias and Thias and Anta Tacumpo both scored double doubles last night. Um, but Giannis with that double double in the first half that is a crazy with sixteen and ten rebounds. But Chris Middleton. Played great in the first half and second half. He played great all around. He scored 15 with five assists and two steals in the um, first half for the Milwaukee Bucks. Him and Giannis have made a great foundation over the last three years with Giannis being in the um, All-Star game two years. I think it was two years maybe. I think it was two years, but people will have to make um, make some uh, comments down in the comment section. But anyway, um, I feel like the Bucks have have their um, have their strong right now, and they are doing really really good at the moment. Um, and I feel like that shows more and more deeper in game but how about the next game between the Mavs and the Rockets the Mavs coming in winning a big big game versus the Rockets I was shocked to see um Dantage led the way as most people know and uh James Harden also led the way for the Rockets but I mean the Rockets slowed down on defense the second half. They kind of pushed a little bit, had some foul trouble here and there. Um, a little bit was going on with Mike D'Antoni at the end of there. Just a little bit of a, little bit of a, um, I wouldn't say a hole, but kind of like a, uh, kind of slow down a little bit lower slope as we usually see from this Houston team. And we haven't seen that in a while. So maybe, Maybe it was just fatigue at the end of the game or something happened with communication there coming out of the huddle at the couple timeouts there late in the game. Um, I'm not really sure what what was the case for that, but I feel like um, the Rockets lowered a little bit more late in the second half and ended up slacking off a little bit and leaving Dantage some space here and there to knock down a couple threes, and I feel like... That, that is a um, big, big issue that teams have where they can start to feel the fatigue, and you see that every 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 team feels fatigue um, in game, but I feel like they kind of put their foot on the gas pedal late in the game when the Rockets had pushed off a little bit and kind of slowed down a little bit late in game after their strong first half. Um... And it was a high-scoring game in the first half. 80 points were scored um, by the Mavs in the first half. So, I mean, that is crazy to me, really. It's 140 points in the – over 140 points in the first half alone. Like, 
I don't see why this is this is nuts. This is like crazy to think, you know, how teams can go. Um but that's about it for these last two days. Um oh the Blazers came in and won a big big game for that ninth spot in the West. That was a big game for them. They that proved their worth in the um in the uh in the NBA bubble and can show that they can be a playoff contender with Damian Lillard, CJ McCollum, Hassan Whiteside, and Yusuf Nurkic. Um, I think that this team could go can go to a maybe six seed in the six seed in the West or maybe a fifth seed in the West in the playoff bracket and can make it at least to the second round, if not even if not even further than that. Um, but I don't, I don't really know what to say because it's really early, it's really early on in this, like, figuring out with this NBA bubble, at least, not early in the season, but, um, early in the bubble and different, different teams can be a little bit slowed down and probably could go, they could easily come in here and be six and two, but they end up going maybe four and four or five and three they kind of slow it down a little bit um really really what it is is that it's teams that have have big big win win are big are big in the win column i should say um like the bucks like the bucks are big in the win column if they go maybe let's say six and two or five and three, they're still in a good spot because they would they would have fifty eight wins. They would have fifty seven wins. They would be a team that would already have a structure because they've already been there to where sixty sixty or more games in, they're already with like fifty three wins and they were fifty three and twelve coming into this. So we gotta we gotta figure that you gotta figure that out and say if a team has a structure and they're like forty wins with it and they're they only have like twenty losses, that's a that's a big accomplishment with only eight games left in that slate. And then the playoffs, the seeding is gonna be really, really hard right there. Um it's gonna be tough. And I know it is because I know that some teams can come in here and be seven and one, six and two, and five and three. That is like three great records that you would think, Lord, how mercy, no one would know. Like, oh, this team has like 40 wins, and if they go five and three and they stink. But yeah, if you think about it, they could easily be up there if they go in. No, they can be 40. With 48 wins, you could easily lock in maybe a seventh seed or sixth seed, and you still make the playoffs, depending on teams, teams um, games and stuff. But I mean that that's that's really 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 um big for some people, and I can get to um see that. But early on in the bubble, I feel like it's not really it's not really it's more of a structured teams that will maybe get one seeds because basically they'll have it. But um. Let's go ahead and quickly update you in the in the early first quarter with 720 left 720 left in the first quarter it's 14 to 8 as Miami jumps out to a 6 point lead over a big west team right now that's third in the west at 43 and 22 the Denver Nuggets um 41 and 24 coming in fourth in the fourth in the east is Miami Right now, at this moment, here early on in the NBA bubble, I I really think that um, th- these games are going to be very, very, very big coming into it, and they are going to be pretty big, um, I would consider, and uh, give, give big, big, um, give big, big, opportunities for people to score um 
and I feel like um, I feel like Crowder is one of my favorite, most improved players on this Heat team. He's very, very, um, very, very reliable to find open teammates. Can be able to penetrate the ball, make make one guy miss, and be able to improve improve his game by as much as like at least 15 to 20 percent he's a very very strong player but one of my one of the big big threats on this Denver Nugget team I really would have to say he's just a dagger anyway Jamal Murray from who played college at Kentucky even though even though um this Nugget team is third in the West. We've seen that they can be they can be a big team in the West and we and we can see that on display with a big win here today. But it's it's your second half game that really determines these games because first half it can easily go either way like it was 14 it was 17 to 2 lead for the Milwaukee Bu- Milwaukee Bucks yesterday versus the Celtics. No one ever no one was going to think that the Celtics were going to win this game and they didn't win this game win that game, but the thing is is that they came back in into a tight game. They closed the gap with consecutive threes by Brett Wanamaker. He went to the line and drew a foul. As I usually like to say, Brett wanna draw a foul because he does. He 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 has that determination to drive to the basket, be able to read the floor, be a floor general. And I feel like Kimba does the same exact thing. Kimba can be Kimba can be a valuable asset to this team. And and people people don't realize that Kimba coming out of coming um over from the Hornets was like, oh my God, Kimba's not going to do any good because Nicholas Batum and all them didn't fit with him. But if you look at it, this Boston team has improved immensely with Marcus Smart playing great. Jason Tatum had a big game yesterday. Gordon Hayward back. Um, amazing weapons and threats and a great head coach. And to, be co- and to be coached by a great head coach in Brad Stevens is one of the best... Um, best like feelings you could ever get out of a out of a um NBA franchise in which way sorry my camera fell guys but anyway so if you think about it it just gives you this sort of this sort of edge off your back if you're thinking about it i think the Celtics are a great team and i can i can agree with with what they're doing Brad Stevens has a great um game plan with that and um I feel like there's going to be some great basketball coming up but check in with 446 as the Denver Nuggets take a timeout 18 to 10 Miami Heat lead I feel like this is just a just a just a um amazing versatile team where they can be able to um give a lot of pressure off of different people um right now it's a um very versatile team that we have seen um right now let's go ahead and take a look at the game leaders for the game here with 443 in the first quarter left to go of the Heat Nuggets um, and a bunch of different game updates here on my channel. I'm probably just going to be doing some videos for different games and maybe coming back to games, you know. Um, I'll give an update once it hits halftime and then probably wait till the end of the game, probably give a couple updates. But right now, I think that that is a very good idea. Um, 
as we go, as we come into this, er, it's early on in the game, and it 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 will show um, different different people's perspective. Bam out of bio leads. He's three for four from the field, three rebounds, and has eight points to start. And Craig is two for two. One and one of those was a three pointer. He has two rebounds. Two rebounds and five points as the leader for the Nuggets. Now look at Paul Millsap here. Um he's one for three, two rebounds, two points. That is a little bit of a low um stat line there. I mean we see good play from Robinson too. Um one for two from the field and one for two um three point shooting and he has three points. So really, really nothing nothing going on too crazy except this big game. Big game. Big game for Bam Adebayo here. Um I I really think that um Bam Adebayo can be a big, big, big threat in this game, especially late, late in game, but right now he's showing it, starting off 3 for 4, shooting 75% from the field in 7 minutes, two, 2 free throws, 2 for 2 on free throws, and and the um, Heat are 100% from the free throw line with those two from Bam Adebayo and eight points. Jimmy Butler now, six minutes, one for two, one for one, free throws. So, three for three, really. Three for three at the line, 100%. Um, he And Bam has one offensive rebound, two defensive rebounds, three rebounds to start this game. Jimmy Butler with two rebounds. And Crowder and Nunn with one rebound as well as one assist. One assist for Crowder and one steal for Crowder. I personally, in this game, um, I'm also going to be giving my predictions here in a second on the next games. I'm, I'm leaning right now. I think that the Heat can win this game. Because of Bam Adebayo's smarts, just not because I, just not because I am a Heat fan, I I could pick the Nuggets here, but in this situation, I think it's the Heat that wins this game, because Bam Adebayo has has been strong, has been strong at times in game, and um, Jimmy Butler is also a value value point in this offense. And the outstanding defense from Andre Iguodala. Um, Myers Leonard, Tyro, Tyler Hero, and Derek Jones Jr., along with Haslam and Hill, will pretty much give a little bit more. I'm hoping to see Derek Jones Jr. and Myers Leonard, along with Tyler Hero, but I don't think that we're going to see much. Um... I mean, they are shooting 53.8% today with 3 for 4 from Bam Adebayo and an 18-15 lead over the Nuggets. I think this I think this, this game is going to be a lottery pick for both of these teams. I'm really excited to see um, at the end of the first half who has prevailed more, um, really. I may just end the video here just because of, just because I kind of do want to give a little bit of um, feedback on some of this, um, but I will be back at halftime for a halftime report on these teams and give a little bit of predictions coming up to the next game, which is going to be the Jazz and the Thunder. They're 
I'm picking the Jazz because the Jazz played great against the Pelicans. I know I picked the Pelicans and I did lose that. Don't don't shame me. Don't shame me because I lost that. Okay, I'm not perfect as a as a um, announcer or a blogger or a YouTuber. So this this gives me a little bit of more of a um, struggle there. But 21 to 18 is the score right now for the Heat and the Nuggets. I will give a update at halftime on games. Um, but I'm going to preview that game at halftime, so stay tuned for that video. So basically, um, I'm going to give you a little bit of I'm going to give you a little bit of that coming up, but again, I'm really I'm really just looking at how teams are going to perform late in game in the second half. What team what I I don't really have a team to pick. I know I have a favorite team, but I can pick against my favorite team if I know that they're going to lose, but I feel like this is heat this is the heat's game to prove where they're at in the where they're at in the east even though they're sitting at fourth in the east there's a lot to to be seen out of teams in the east and we haven't seen a edge go in the east besides the bucks so second third and fourth are locked for any there there are open slots for any team there's the Celtics the Sixers the 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 Celtics the Sixers the Heat, the, I mean, the Magic, the Pacers. There's a lot of teams that we could see something big out of. And we haven't seen that from an East team yet. So I'm hoping that maybe Miami can prove something. Maybe Boston can prove something. Maybe someone can do something for this team to be able to, um, Give give this team a shot um, to win some games. Uh, but like I said, any team can do anything really. The West the West is tight too. I'm not gonna lie. First place is gonna be tough tough to lock down because really, because really, the Lakers, Lakers, Clippers, Nuggets, Lakers. Nuggets, Lakers, Nuggets, Trailblazers, um, big teams in the West. There's a lot that we can see out of the West teams, really, and the Clippers are as well there too. Um, the Rockets. The Mavs are the Mavs are getting there because they did win against the Rockets last night. So I mean we've got teams that we can that we can see. So there's not really many there's not really many things that we can say much about it because we're just like okay well teams are like okay let's go say that um, the 76ers are playing the Knicks. If you think about it. Maybe the 76ers are a little bit lower, but we haven't seen a second, third, or fourth place locked down yet, guaranteed. We've seen the first place because you know the Bucks are going to be good with Chris Middleton, DiVincenzo, Rob, um, Brooke Lopez, like Giannis. It's just nuts to score a double-double in the first half versus the Boston Celtics. So, um, I feel like this is going to be, this is going to be a chance for, a chance for different teams to show what they're made of, um, close to the playoffs. So, some teams are not, some teams are not locked into the playoffs, so I'm excited to see where some teams go late on in the season i'm gonna give a halftime report i know this was a long video i didn't mean to make it a long video but 
I had to give some updates on the Heat Nuggets game. Watch it on ESPN, NBA on ESPN, and TNT all season long. And also get NBA, li NBA um, live coverage on the ESPN app and anywhere you get your TV and video productions. So, I'm going to be back um, with a halftime report coming up soon. Um, give you some background on some games later on. Check in, check in on the Heat Nuggets game. Give some um, opinions about... Um, Zion late later and um, later games today with the Jazz and the Thunder predictions and preview coming up at halftime. So I will see you guys at halftime with a big halftime report. Don't forget to like this video and um, suppress that, press that subscribe button down below it's the um red button and you press the bell for notifications every time that i post video and i will see you at halftime for more basketball information and uh i will see you all in a little while peace